KHDR, please turn on the maximum quality, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy. Hey there, movie enthusiasts. Buckle up because the Tron universe is making a comeback with Tron Ares, and there's a lot to chew on. So, we've got this iconic franchise that started way back in 82, took a hiatus, and then hit us with Tron Legacy in 2010, dazzling us with its digital landscapes, sick light cycle battles, and that epic Daft Punk soundtrack. Now, after a bit of a wait, Tron Ares is on the horizon, and the vibes are, well, both exciting and divisive. First off, the good news, production is back on track. After some Hollywood strikes threw a wrench in the gears, Tron Ares is now slated to start filming in early 2024, right after the holiday season. Sure, it's a bit later than we hoped, but hey, better late than never, right? Now, let's talk casting. Jared Leto, known for his eclectic roles, is taking the lead as Ares. Some folks are stoked, remembering his Oscar-worthy performance in Dallas Buyers Club while others are a tad nervous. Thanks to his Joker stint in the DC Extended Universe, drama aside, he's the man of the hour. But wait, there's more star power. Emmy winner Evan Peters is joining the digital party in a mysterious role that seems like it's going to be a big deal. Greta Lee is stepping in as a tech CEO with some top secret tech, and Jodie Turner-Smith is on board too, in a role that's yet to be unveiled. The excitement is real. Now, about the plot. We're diving into a compelling exploration of Ares' journey. Cryptic, right? Considering Ares was the Greek god of war, we might be looking at some serious chaos beyond the grid with potential consequences for us humans. Joseph Kaczynski, the brain behind the original Tron 3 script, teased an invasion storyline. If that gets woven into Tron Ares, we could be in for an actual War of the World scenario. Henry Cavill is hanging up his Superman cape, and the iconic role is getting a fresh face in the form of David Corenswit in the upcoming blockbuster, Superman Legacy. First things first, mark your calendars for May 11, 2025, because that's when Superman Legacy is set to hit the screens, and according to none other than James Gunn himself, in a recent YouTube video, Gunn spilled the beans on the release date and his grand plans for the DCU. Let's talk casting, shall we? David Corrins would steps into the shoes of Clark Kent, our new Superman, and joining him is the talented Rachel Brosnahan, who's donning the role of Lois Lane. But wait, there's more. Brace yourselves for a squad of super characters. Nathan Fillion as Green Lantern, Isabella Merced as Hawkgirl, Eddie Gathagy as Mr. Terrific, and Anthony Kerrigan as Metamorpho. It's like a superhero party. Now, the villain reveal, Maria Gabriela de Feria is set to bring some serious heat as the antagonist in Superman Legacy. The excitement levels are through the roof. As for the plot, we're not diving into the origin story this time. Nope, Superman Legacy will explore a more mature Clark Kent, juggling the complexities of being a symbol of hope and an everyday reporter. Think superhero meets the struggles of a regular guy. Intriguing, right? While the official villain is still a mystery, the DC Universe's arch nemesis, Lex Luthor, might just make a menacing appearance. Superman Legacy is undoubtedly one of the most anticipated films in the DC Universe, breaking the standalone Superman dry spell since Man of Steel in 2013. We're in for a treat, folks, with a fresh take on the iconic hero's journey. Stay tuned for more updates as we count down to the epic release in 2025. Chris Pine, our charming bard from the first flick, spilled the beans on whether Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves 2 is in the cards. In a recent chat with Games Radar, Pine hinted that while the sequel isn't set in stone, he's pretty upbeat about it happening. And the best part? Pine is totally up for reprising his role as bard. To the applause. Now, let's talk scores. Honor Among Thieves is rocking a solid 91% on Rotten Tomatoes from critics, and the audience score, well, that's even higher at a whopping 93%. So, what's the verdict? Pine's optimism suggests that Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves 2 is on the horizon. But, and there's always a but, the road to sequel town might have a few bumps. Stay tuned, fantasy enthusiasts, cause the D&D adventure might just continue, and Bard could be strumming his tunes once again.